Well, hello, third grade readers. How are we? I miss you. Uh, so, hey, this week's a short week. Uh, pretty simple. I have one little task for you to do, and then I have a fun assignment on the board I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Um, so last week in reading, you were reading about Dr. Livingstone and that he got married and had children and that he was starting to explore and find a place for his missions, okay? Um, we read on found out that he, uh, there was something greater than the lions attacking. What was it? Fever, right? The fever. So a fever, I'm guessing back then was more kind of like what we're facing today. Um, virus and diseases and things like that, that they didn't have a lot of medicine for back then. So thank goodness he was a doctor and he used what God gave him and was able to help his family, right? We read about all that. So your assignment for this week is pretty short. I just want you to reread page 166 in your book, just one page. But I want you to pay attention to the first two paragraphs the most. The first one especially, and then the second one kind of went with it. Read the whole page. And then I want you to pick one of the four things he did in the first paragraph, just for something fun. So, and that's actually up on my board, you can start a journal. And a journal, you don't have to write a bunch of entries, just start one. Tell me about maybe um, about something you saw outside. And that's another thing. Um, these assignments are supposed to be happening outside. Take a little nature walk or scavenger hunt or something. And let me know some things you're seeing. If the weather's nice and if you're able to go. If not, um, maybe just make up something. But try to tie it into our story. <clears throat> um, make a map. You could even, and you wouldn't even have to go on a nature hike to, or hunt or anything to make a map. You could just make a map saying, here's my house and here's a tree over here and a bunch of different things. Like what's going on in your yard? <clears throat> Maybe some new things are starting to bloom with spring right around the corner. Um, so tell me about those things. Say, hey, my mom has flowers coming up in the front yard or something like that. Um, you can start a collection. That one is really interesting to me. I think that was the one I would wanna do. Or you can write a letter either to me or your friend. You're not going to send it. It's just a letter that you can write. Try to tie some of this stuff to the story because that's what Dr. Livingstone did. So I thought this would be a fun activity with the weather starting to get nicer. Maybe you're out with your family. You can do this kind of thing. Um, if you're going to start a collection, a neat example that I found, <clears throat> you could, if you have one of these lying around, an old egg carton, you open it there and they um, had suggested putting maybe you find 12 different rocks or maybe just 10 you could put 10 different rocks in here and maybe make a note of where you found them um, if you want to do 12 different flowers or um, just different things of nature maybe some rocks in one grass in another a flower a stick um, maybe a feather you find uh, anything else that you might find that you see think is different or interesting um, I think that would this is a neat way to display it and then whenever you pick one of these it's gonna be due on Wednesday um, try to be detailed try to tell me some things about whatever you pick if you're writing me a letter tell me about you know you're writing a letter about your scavenger hunt or your little walk nature walk or something like that whatever you decide to do but tell me about it. I want to know because I don't know where you live, so I want to know about it. <clears throat> um, trying to think if there's anything else to tell you. Um, and then what you're going to do is have your parents um, or your friend or grandma or whoever's helping you do your schoolwork take a picture of your letter or collection or whatever, and you can send it to me through email. But I want to see your collections. I want to see your um, map if you choose to do a map. I want to see your letter. If you're writing a letter to me, I want to read it. I enjoy reading the things that you come up with. You guys are very creative and you humor me. I actually laugh out loud a lot when I'm reading the things that you write. Um, and I like to see where where your mind goes when you're doing and completing assignments. Um, and any questions, feel free to message me and I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.